Hey all, Russ here, RVA TV. Welcome! Check it out. We're heading down 14A. We're at the last leg of this uh, journey across the Bighorn Mountains here in the northern part of Wyoming. What a pretty beautiful ride. Highly recommended. And I keep seeing these signs. 10% grade, next 14 miles. Cattle great there. Seen a few cows. It is open range here. But we're heading down the mountain now. Brake check area. My brakes are fine. <laughs> Let's see what the sign says. Oh, it's like a mini sign of that big one back at Burgess Junction. You are here. It's pointing out the runaway truck. Oh, look at the little critter. Look at him. He's on our rear TV. 10% grade. So we're going to be heading down the mountain. All right. Well, let's do it. All right. Away we go. Way off, you can see the valley down there. Cool. Now you can see it a little better. That is a long, long ways out there. And, oh no, I guess if you're in a rig, just go slow. Check your brakes. Looks like this guy's pulling over. He's hauling a motorcycle. Well, here's a few pines. There's your first truck runaway ramp. Can you imagine being in a big old semi and have to hit one of them things. No brakes. <laughs> oh, wolf. Yikes. Alright, sign back there said a little rest area up here. Where is it? Here it is. Let's see if we can't get an aerial shot from here before we head on down. This will be perfect. Alright. Let me get parked. Yeah, winds aren't too bad. We'll do a quick launch. I got a little rest area here. Restrooms over there. we go there you go now you can see it there's the valley down there that's where we're heading perfect looks like the road just drops off the edge here <laughs> well kind of our last look at the bighorns here very impressive Camping, fishing, about anything you can think of. Four-wheeling. Bet if you like winter, snowmobile. What a good ride. 
Alrighty, well, that's where we're heading. Get landed, let's get on the road. dropping quick good road though this road has been really good the whole way we'll very well maintain look at them rock cliffs there you don't like heights, that drops straight off. <laughs> and it's a long ways down there. They got a lot of pullouts. Look at the view now. Now we're, it's opening up. You see all kinds of pullouts, guardrails, let's see. All right, I'm just gonna let the camera roll. Enjoy the ride. Travel trailer up there. I can smell the brakes. That guy's getting his brakes heated up pretty good. I just dropped the van down a gear, let the engine hold it back a little bit. Pretty ride. It's like descending in an airplane. <laughs> wow, there's another one of those truck runaway ramps. Look how that goes straight up that hill. Wow, that'll stop you. switchbacks, low curvy. 
get back into some pines. If we get up here somewhere and I can pull off, I will. Before we get all the way down to the bottom. Look at this canyon. Beautiful. Oh, cool. Look. A little turnout here. I'm going to take it. Look how they got chain link fencing over the rocks so the rocks don't hit the road. Looks like they drilled anchors into it. We're right on a cliff. <laughs> Look at this. That is way down there. There, I'm standing on these concrete bumpers. What a view, huh? That's what's holding the road in. <laughs> Maybe you're better off not seeing this. That's safe. That just drops down there a few thousand feet. How oh, pretty. truck coming up. Wave at him. He's doing pretty good. Alright. I'd say we're almost at the end of it. Cool little stop. get down we'll be in uh, level Wyoming and from there I'll figure out how I want to we're heading to Yellowstone for sure. I know we'll end up in Cody at some time. Cody, Wyoming. Then on into Yellowstone. Stay with the cooler weather. We're on the flat land. Made it. Survived it. So long, Bighorn Mountains.
there's a big body of water coming up. I think this is that Bighorn Lake. Find a place, we'll take a look at it. This looks good. Up we go. Wow, big lake. I looked on maps to the north of here. There's uh, like a recreation, Big Horton Canyon or something. I'm not going up there this time. We're going to head on into the town of Lovell. There's a bridge. Kind of murky looking, huh? We're not that far from Montana. Just to the north is Montana State Line. There's a road we just came in. And there's the mountains. What a neat trip across there. I would definitely do that again. More than once. That was a beautiful area up there. There's a good 15 degree temperature difference already. It's hot down here. That's looking big. That's a big lake. Lake Bighorn. All right, let's get landed. We'll get on into Lovell. All right, that's a good look at it. Lake Bighorn. See an RV down by the water. I'm sure you can camp around here. Look at all the wildlife, all the birdies. Here we go. How flat after we've be been up in the mountains. Huh? <laughs> Pretty cool. Probably a lot of farm. Oh, it was a big motorhome. Probably a lot of farming and stuff around here. They got the water. You have to look on the maps. Montana state lines only like 10 miles. made it. Here's the big town of Lovell. There's a big visitor information center for that recreation area. Bighorn Recreation Canyon. Which I seen a sign back back up the road a little ways that said like 10 miles up to it. But another time. We're going to keep moving west. Actually I'm going to spend the night around here somewhere. Alright, let's check out the town. Small Town USA. This is actually the first town we've seen in a long ways ever since we left uh, Sheridan over there at Dayton and uh, Ranchester. Hotels. 
Oh, look at the flowers. Look at that hanging off the light poles. Look at them all. That's colorful. Check that out. Now, there is small town USA right there. Proud of their town. There's a dollar store, Sinclair. They got baskets of flowers on every light pole. How cool is that? Movie theater. Oh, this is like going back in time. Look at the old style buildings. What a neat place. Lovell, Wyoming. This keeps going here. What else we got? The Red Apple Grocery Store. So you can go get your groceries at the Red Apple. Uh, looks like little houses. I see some RVs on the left. Man, look at this. I could live here except for the snow. There's the bar. <laughs> Local saloon. Well, this is way too cool for school. Look, the, they still got the baskets of flowers on the light poles clear down here. What an effort that takes. Makes it colorful. Big old grain silos for the farmers. Like going back in time. Alrighty. Well, what a ride we had. Coming over the big horns. Going through level here. I'll have to figure out what we're going to do next. We're definitely heading towards Yellowstone. I haven't determined the exact route yet, but we're getting close. This is the virtual vacation, RVR TV 2020. The journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>